Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for episode 25 of Off the Grid. So, I've spent a few days in town. I decided I needed to go back. It was important. Um, I wanted to see Chuck for one thing. See how he's doing. And it's hard to see him. You know, I mean, he's doing better. He really is. But at the same time, you know, you're used to this vibrant guy who's out in the woods and nothing slows him down and now all of a sudden he's kind of uh, not in the best shape but it was still good to see him and and I think it helps you know to see some friendly faces or whatever you know just uh, have some people around but it's nice to see also that he's getting the treatment that he needs so that was a good thing on a on a lighter note, I've got troubles of my own. <laughs> um, so I hadn't planted anything in a while, and, and I'd run out of seed, and I bought some new batch of seed, and I'm not sure what was in that seed, but it did not go well. And I'll show you what I mean as I come back into the homestead here. It's been a long night of driving, but there's no help for it. We'll check out this field here in just a minute, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I did take that old wood chipper back, did some trade-ins, bought a few things. You'll be surprised. You're going to be really surprised when I show you what I've uh, what I've gotten. Really surprised. And this first thing, which I'm sure you've already figured out, is just the beginning. So. I finally bought myself a horse. Check it out. Outstanding. And I'm ending up with quite the collection of trailers because I keep ending up having to buy a trailer to haul these things. I've got cattle trailer and now I've got the horse trailer. Uh, but anyway, that's fine. I'll find other uses for them. No biggie. There's always stuff to haul. So let me get this guy backed in here to be. That'll do it. Okay, now we'll get you in the pen. Right on. Isn't he a beauty? She? It? I don't know. It's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely horse. And this horse is going to need a name, and I'm going to ask all of you to help me with that. Help me pick a name for my brand new horse. That would be fantastic if you could help me out with that. Uh, leave some suggestions in the comments below. And no, I'm not going to name the horse Glue or <laughs> anything like that. It's going to be my companion up here. When I'm stuck here on the homestead, don't have time to go see Hugo or Pierre or anybody. This is a lot of the time. I mean, they're busy, I'm busy. We've all got a lot going on, but... Now I've got... Well, I've got James. Don't get me wrong, I love James. James is a good dog. Very good dog. Harv's best friend. But I think even James will like this horse. I think James will be plenty happy with him. Absolutely. Okay, now as I was telling you, I have got troubles of my own. And we're going to take a look. I need to get this horse taken care of, make sure he's got food and water, but I don't know what was in that last batch of seed, but all I've got coming up are weeds. Tons and tons of weeds. So like I said, I made a few purchases, and I sent them on ahead. I spent a few days back in town just so I could visit with Chuck, make sure he was doing okay, get him a few things that he, he was asking for. Charlie's there, of course, and she's doing all that she can. But I don't know if you've ever had to uh, care for somebody full-time, but it can be quite taxing. And so I, I wanted to give her a break as well. Oops. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to get this Ursus cleaned up. It hadn't been cleaned up in a while. Neither has this trailer.
There we go. That looks better. I mean, it's only had wood chips in it lately, but still. I probably haven't washed it since I got it up here, if I'm honest. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, yeah. So, while I was back, like I said, I, I took the wood chipper back with me. I had Pierre come over help me load it in the back of the pickup. It just barely fit, but we got it in there. And uh, traded that in. And one thing that was really surprising, because I went to that swap meet. And, of course, I met up with my buddy Ed. I always have to meet with Ed when I'm there. And I'd actually called ahead to let him know I was coming and told him what my situation was. So he started asking around. I mean, we don't get to talk about Ed much anymore, but, you know, he's that guy who always knows somebody who knows somebody and uh, anyway he um, he had some things waiting for me one thing in particular that really really worked out well but yeah it's gonna be interesting to see at least I, I think it'll work out well it should work out well it should help me out with this weed problem for sure And I really wish that field had been planted oats the way I said it was going to be. <laughs> because, frankly, this is all the oats I've got. Horse? You, you are standing in the wrong place, buddy. Well, we'll get you some food. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna need oats in a big way. In a big, big way. Because he just took all of those and didn't bat an eye. And I should have some hay stored away here too. Oh yeah, I got lots of hay. So, I guess if I run out of oats for a while he can subsist on hay won't be his favorite food but uh, I'm sure it will do him nicely very nicely indeed much more nicely than me backing this tractor into that food trough. There we go. That's that's more like it. Slow and steady wins the wins the game. Wins the race, I should say. There we go. Ah, is he gonna take all that hay too? Nope. Four thousand. That's one hungry horse. Yeah, so this horse needs a name. I, I don't I don't wanna ride through the desert on a horse with no name, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright. Get this hay put away and then he's gonna need some water. I'll just drop this trailer right here for now. Go grab the water trailer. In fact, I should probably... Those cows could probably use a little water, so... Probably empty it right here at the cattle pasture. The cows are doing quite nicely, as you can hear. Oh yeah, they needed some water. I'll go run over to the well real quick, get this thing filled up. And I want to take my horse for a spin, what do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. 
It's funny about that horse trailer. The horse costs ten times more than the trailer. <laughs> if it's a pretty dirt cheap trailer, let me tell you. That's how we get by up here. We get by by pinching pennies, man. Don't wreck the truck. see if uh, where I need to be to fill up this little bathtub. It's like right about there. Oh, that doesn't hold much water at all. I hope that lasts. Okay, well while I'm here We'll just grab him and take him for a ride. Apparently somebody named him Uther. There we go. That's more like it. Now this is the perfect combination. A horse on the homestead, man, this is gonna be fantastic. And don't get me wrong, I love driving the trucks and tractors and everything, but having my nameless horse is just, it's gonna make for like nice afternoons, evenings, going for a ride, there you go, boy. nice leisurely ride through the forest that I've got cleared thank God because otherwise these branches would be knocking me off <laughs> it gives me a chance to look around the property too, make sure everything's going okay because we're getting pretty spread out now really spread out I haven't had an opportunity to come over and clear any more of this tree line that I want to get rid of but I have loaded a couple loads and run them over to the sawmill now I did I talked to Hugo and since he's trying to get I mean the sawmill is kind of its own business and it's done its thing for a while he's never full-blown had to run it himself and I I told him to not pay me so much for the the timber I bring in so we, we struck a deal where he'll keep some of that money and invest it back in the sawmill and you know that works for me it works for him but you know a couple loads of wood I think maybe netted me about I don't know 90,000 where I think before it would have been more like 150,000 so I mean still that's great money as far as I'm concerned and and it it helps him get his business up and running he's still working well he's working on the sawmill but he's also working on getting those uh, those new buildings sort of transformed into some something he doesn't know what yet I'm sure he's got some ideas but just not ready to share them you know you know how that goes This is a great horse. I'm loving this. It gives you a whole new perspective on the on the landscape too. It just kind of looks different, feels different. Outstanding. Incredibly pleased. I should have done this a long time ago. I've had that horse pinned for a long, long time. And just haven't done anything with it, but you know, there's always something else to bring back or other things to do and I just didn't have the opportunity so now I do 
Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Probably ought to brush him down a little bit if he stops walking. There we go. <coughs> Good boy. <laughs> okay. Now, I've got work to get done. Much, much, much work to get done. So what I need to do at this point is get back down to the mailbox. Because I know the, the stuff I shipped is already down there. So let me run down there. I'm not going to be able to bring it all back right now because I've got my trailer loaded for another job. As you could probably see a little bit earlier. But... I can get what I need at least. So let me get down to the mailbox and we'll check in then. Here we go. Now I probably should have just left this gate open when I come th came through. I left the other one open. But as you can see, we've got some stuff that's been unloaded here. Outstanding. And let's take a look, shall we? Don't need that engine noise. So, first thing I bought was some more of those empty boxes. Because these are going to be great. Absolutely great when I get the farm market up and running. Be able to load these and set them up there. I bought a tank of diesel fuel. Because, well, frankly, um, I'm starting to run pretty low. And two big jugs of herbicide why because for this beauty and those who don't know this is a herbicide sprayer it would actually do fertilizer too but I use dry fertilizer this is a wet sprayer so we're gonna try this out and see if it'll get rid of those weeds and when I was at the swap meet you'll never believe that I found the John Deere it was still there and I couldn't leave it. It was sitting there all cold and alone. And I had to get it. And the reason I got it actually is because this is going to be a great tool to use up at the farmer's market. I mean, it'll be perfect for loading these boxes where I need them to go and move, moving bales around and stuff like that. So the John Deere is back in spades. Absolutely outstanding. But for now, I gotta get rid of these weeds. So let me see what we can do here. I should be able to fill this up. And yes, it's another piece of Russian equipment. <laughs> you know, you know Ed. And there's equipment to be had. He's gonna turn to his Russian buddies. Is that going to take that whole tank? Nope, not quite. Pretty darn close, though. Wow. Okay. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Loving it. So, once again, let me get back up there to the homestead. And we're going to see about knocking down some weeds once and for all. And I think I'm going to have to do just a little bit, I mean, I've figured out the basics, but I think I'm going to have to study up a little bit more on weed control. Because, well, I can't really get my money back on those pallets of seed. And if it's going to be like this all the time, then I'm going to have to find a way to take care of it. So, I will see you at the homestead. Alright, here we are. And let's see what this thing will do. So, spread out the arms like so. Oh, it sprays real nice. Look at that. And boom, it is knocking those weeds dead. Check it out. Killing them right off. I mean, it's herbicide, I guess, 
it would kill them right off, but <laughs> the sprayer is not killing them. The sprayer is just uh, the tool needed to get rid of these weeds. Outstanding. Look at that. Just boom. Gone. It's apparently very mobile, too. Oh, I really like it. it's just it's nice and wide. It's gonna take care of this. I mean, this isn't exactly a huge field, but based on what we normally have or have had in the past, this is a massive field. So, yeah, this is gonna work great. Very nicely done. Very nice indeed. Ed, buddy, I can always count on Ed. Ed comes through. He's a problem solver. He knows how to get the job done. I just don't ask too much about where he uh, comes up with this stuff because, frankly, well, um, don't take this the wrong way, but Ed can be just a smidge shady. <laughs> just a little bit. But hey, it's working for me. And that's what really counts, right? minutes just minutes and my weed problem is solved I'm gonna have to get a little more accurate on the edges though I'm leaving some behind I'll have to go touch up just a little bit but I can live with that Like this little guy right here. That is remarkable. I keep saying, you know, we don't need. 5,000 horsepower and tools that are 10 miles wide. This is the widest tool I've ever had. The absolute widest, and it's just knocking it out. So, what can I say? This is turning out to be a great day. An absolutely great day. Got the new horse, he's doing fine. Got him all fed up and taken care of. Got the John Deere skid steer back. That is a masterful bonus. That John Deere skid steer. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that thing, honestly. Would not be here. It carried me a long, long way. A lot of the land that we're looking at right here. That John, John Deere skid steer cleared it right up for me. Lifted, loaded, hauled logs, cut trees down. Yeah, it was a it was a massive staple on the on the homestead for a long, long time. And even when I decided to trade it in, yeah, I was I was surprised by that decision, if I'm honest, because it was such a great little piece of equipment. Oh, 
Okay, because I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> I don't want to be here all day at all. I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'll put it away later. So hopefully, now that that herbicide's gone in, I'll have a very nice little... <laughs> a very nice uh, wheat crop. I think that should do really well. And it means I won't have to worry about those seeds because, well, if they become a problem, I have the tool to kill them. Kill them dead. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out yet, which I'm sure you have, we are headed up to the North Bridge because it's time to start working on this farm market. Things are growing up across the lake. They're making progress. More and more people are going to start coming up. And I want to be ready when they show up. When they start showing up, I'm going to be the guy who's giving them the stuff that they're looking for. Until they decide to build a supermarket or something. Even still, people love farm markets. They absolutely love them. But I will see you up there. All right, so as you can see, I brought some more lumber over, and I don't know well, how well you can see it, but I've kind of got it laid out just in a pattern because I, this is kind of what I'm looking for, kind of a circular thing. It's going to be kind of a circular drive so people can come in, stop, pick up what they want, and then just turn right around and, well, get out of here. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. No, it's not all that dramatic or anything, but and I forgot to put those ramps down. And I forgot to take the straps off. There we go, that's better. So at this point, I need to get this trailer unloaded. And I brought everything. I'm not sure... Well, I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to need, but... And I always forget how aggressive these straps can be. Well, just makes unloading easier. <laughs> I'll just set this over here for now. I'm sure that'll be fine. I don't want a bunch of junk spread out in the middle because that's where I need to build everything, put everything together. This is, this is my toolbox. Just got all my tools and junk in it that I will be using on this job. And that'll be right there. And then I brought the uh, the farm all up here just to run the wood chipper or wood chipper, the log splitter, I should say does a perfect job it doesn't stress it too much I know I said I would just pretty much store Chuck's tractors and everything in case he ever wanted them back but I didn't think he'd mind if I use this one well, I know he won't mind he's not like that but you know what I mean but this should also be able to run my generator here Probably not going to pull. Oh, yeah, that came right off. Nice. OK. 
Okay, I think I'll put this right in here too. Can you sneak? Nope, sure can. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. Just in case. I don't know how long I'm going to be up here, so... Having some extra light out here might just be a good idea. Okay, that'll be good for a little while. Now I need to get this wood cleared out of the middle. So I've got a pretty darn good idea what I'm going to do with it at this point. And I'm just going to bring it right back over and stack it over here. And these crates. I can't wait to see what's in the crate. I, I know what's in the crates, but I'm really interested to see exactly how that comes together. So, should be quite intriguing. stack these neat too terribly neatly or anything because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use up every bit of it last one and in the middle of all this I realized that I'd forgotten to raise the mast on those lights so I got that up there too I hope this will sit. Well, it either will or won't. There we go. That's much, much better. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to move this over here out of the way. That'll work. Okay, we've got a nice, big, open pallet right in front of us. Let's build a farm market, shall we?
while that took a few days but I think it turned out pretty well I think it turned out pretty well indeed and just take you on a little bit of a tour do a driving tour so just make sure that the roads are wide enough things like that but yeah the whole idea is they'll just kind of cruise in through here pull up and I'm gonna have some signs I'm gonna put some signs up on each of these buildings when I decide what's gonna go in them but you know in these huts but I didn't get the grass out of there very well did I <laughs> but yeah I'll be able to store some extra pallets in here in each one of these and each one will have a different commodity like potatoes or wheat or oats or whatever and I'm pretty sure you can tell what this is this is gonna be where I sell my milk and eggs that'll be nice and I just have a whole bunch of these storage buildings and then I've got this shed right here where I will have bales I'll put my hay bales in there my straw bales in there I have a sign up there just for that too and the piece de resistance this right here is my you pick apple orchard so people can come in here and they can pick their apples I need to get these trees watered and fertilized in order to get some apples growing on them but when the apples are growing they can just come in here pick their own apples they can sit on the bench here and relax and enjoy those apples if they want to and why is it that when I'm building it always has to rain I don't know what it is but <laughs> there was one day in there where it just absolutely decided that rain was in the forecast and it, it it wasn't having any of it it said too bad for you we're raining get over yourself <laughs> but there we have it we have a farm market it's not supplied yet but I have a farm market in fact let me just uh, let me try something here real quick I don't know how well this will work out but got just enough daylight left here or I should say the daylight's in good shape right now it's a little bit early in the morning but that's okay see and this is why I wanted that skid steer back because I think this is going to be a little bit too tight for the uh, telehandler but we'll give it we'll give it a shot Yeah, I don't think these will go in with the telehandler. It's just too big. But you get the idea. These crates will fit through those doors. I built them with that in mind, and they definitely will go in there. So no problems there. No problem at all. But there we have it. My what I would consider lovely <laughs> it's not perfect but it's pretty darn nice as far as I'm concerned pretty darn nice indeed I like it I like it a lot yeah now all I gotta do is uh, well get some crops out of the ground get them down here put some signs out like I said I'll put some signs on all those buildings I'll uh, I'll put a sign on the orchard too just to let people know you know you pick your own apples come on in sit back relax bring the kids <laughs> but I think with all of that said and all of that done a lot done needless to say I think that's going to do it for this episode of Off the Grid. I really hope you enjoyed the episode, as much as I did at least. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, take care.